Welcome back to the Worldwide Leader of All Things Hannah Han. I'm Anna Avery. It's Monday, August 15th, the first day of school, and you're watching Hawks Eye View. Here to start our show off, here's a word from Mr. Gallus. Thanks, Anna. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Principal Gallus, and I'm excited to have everybody back on campus for the school year. At one point, I was a student just like you, and I've got three tips I'm going to give you to be successful for this school year. The first tip, do your best from day one right from the start in all of your classes. Don't wait till October to get going. Go to class prepared, ask questions, attend extra help sessions from day one. Tip two, come to school every day. It's proven that kids that come to school on time and prepared are more successful in their classes. Let's do that from day one, Han Han. Tip three, be involved. Attend sporting events, join a club, Come to different things that our Hanahan community, which is an amazing community, has to offer. Be involved. It's a great day to be a Hawk. I'm confident if you master those three things, you'll have a phenomenal school year. Always remember, if there's anything I can do to help, please stop by and let me know. Now, back to Anna in the studio. Thanks, Mr. Gallus. The new school year calls for some new freshmen and some new students on campus. Here's Savannah with a tour of our beautiful school. Thanks, Anna. Hanahan can be a confusing place, so let's take a quick tour. First, to start off right here in the front office, where many of us will be entering on a daily basis. Go down the hall, and you'll find Main Hall. Here, you'll find majority of our language classes. If you keep going, you will enter Freshman Hall. Now, freshmen, majority of your classes will be on this hall, so it's very important you know how to get here. Now that you know that, let's go downstairs. On our lower level, you will find the Science Wing, or as we like to call it, the Dungeon. This wing is directly below the math and media hallways. Students should expect to travel down here at least once, no more than twice a day. The science wing and the dungeon also connect to the auditorium right down this hallway. Down here, there's also theater, band, and chorus. Right now, we're on the senior hill, and behind me is Gantt Hall, but most of us like to refer to this building as the JK building. On the first floor, you will find the gym, weight room, auto tech, art, JROTC, and upstairs you will find health science and other CTE classes. Now let's end off our tour with the most important place, our cafeteria. The cafeteria is located between Gantt Hall and Main Hall. I hope this tour helped. Come back to Anna in the studio. Thanks, Savannah. I know most of us have already gotten our back-to-school shopping done, but I'm here in the auditorium to talk about the do's and don'ts of our dress code. First, we have Brayden wearing a spaghetti strap tank top. All tank tops need to follow the two-finger rule. This crop top is also cropped, making it illegal. Thanks, Brayden. Now let's talk skirts. Next up, we have Nathaniel modeling a skirt. This skirt is way too short. This also goes for shorts, dresses, and skirts. They must all be below fingertip length. Thank you, Nathaniel. The last thing we're going to talk about for you girls are dresses. Here we have Caden modeling a dress. Not only is this dress spaghetti strap, it's also backless. Keep in mind, ladies, that all dresses should be appropriate for school. They should not be too short, backless, or spaghetti strap. Thanks, Kaden. Let's not forget that you guys have rules, too. Here we have Haley modeling saggy pants, a hoodie, and a hat. Not only should pants be pulled up all the way, hoodies should be off the head, and hats should be left at home, in your cars, or your book bag. Hopefully that clears up any questions about the dress code. It's been a long summer and we have not seen our favorite teachers in a while. We asked Connor to head out and ask them how their summer was. Hey Han Han, welcome back. We all know what you did over the summer. Let's see what the teachers did. Starting off with one of my favorites, Coach Brown. Let's get in. Oh yeah. Never mind. Forgot you retired. What did you do over the summer? Um, I worked with Virtual SC. I two and a half weeks off. What did you do over the summer? I uh, went on a cruise and read. And got more tattoos. Nice. I got a tattoo too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a dog. Mm -hmm. And then I came back to work. That's lame. All right, bye. I took care of a baby. My baby. Do you have a baby? Yeah, it's in my boat. I went to Mexico. Mexico? Hola, senor. Mexico. What's its name? Her name's Juniper. Like the flower? Just wondering what you did over the summer. Do you anything else in Mexico? Um, fish tacos. Relaxing, take my daughter to swim class and the aquarium and the zoo all the time. I did some home improvements. 
and um, I watch some really good crime shows. You fish for tacos? No, we went to a couple cut taco stands. Any parties? No. Ooh. I went to Vegas, um, I went to Florida, and went to a bunch of softball tournaments. How was y'all's retirement? <laughs> How much money did you lose in Vegas? I don't want to talk about it, Connor. So like all of it, or? Yep. Well, you heard it here first, Han Han. Some of these teachers are party animals. It's good to be back. Now, back to Anna in the studio. Thanks, Connor. That's all we have today, Hawks. Remember to join us on Friday for our first official newscast. From all of us here at Hawks Eye View, I'm Anna Avery, and we hope you have a great first day. So you can add all you want as long as you get the stuff. Did you hear that? I did.